Well, hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana 2. It's been a little bit of time away. I've been so busy with real life stuff going on lately. I've been producing the Sanctum and Borderlands videos just because I had long recordings that I was able to split up, but Secret of Mana 2 is something I usually just do one episode at a time and I haven't had time to play, so. Even today, really, I should be asleep right now, but I'm gonna squeeze one game in for you guys real quick. So, where we left off, we're in the, the fishing harbor, Apollo, and this area was invaded by the Navari. So that's why you got those guys everywhere, all the soldiers. One defense. Doesn't seem very significant. I think we can skip out on that. At any rate, I am glad to be back playing Secret of Mana. I do enjoy playing these retro games quite a bit. Although I have to admit, these co-op games I've been playing are fun also. Just interacting with other people is always fun. Ah, nothing good here apparently. So these soldiers, it seems like no matter who you talk to, they just give you the, the cold shoulder. And they walk funny. Okay. And I see over here... Check it out. You guys know who that is, don't you? Those of you who played the first Secret of Man, I definitely know who that is. It's the cat person. AKA Neko. His name is Neko. And Neko is just... Japanese for cat, so his name is Cat. Nothing going on in there. Oh, I already went in here. Oh, this is what happens when I play and I'm sleepy. I can't even think what's going on anymore. Lise? It's you, Lise. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Eliza! Shh! That's so loud, they'll hear. I'm not the only one. Please, go to the flower garden up on the mountain. Hey! Where's my whiskey? Coming right up, sir! So that's our clue. It says it's time to book it out of this town and go up the mountain. So that's exactly what we are going to do! Travel up the mountain! Path to the heavens. Ah oh yes, more awesome music. More awesome poison! Wow, we're killing stuff pretty quick here. Now one mistake I had to make sure I do not make is when I'm recording the co-op games, I set traps to record my microphone, and when I'm recording my solo let's plays, I do not, I record my voice separately. So I have to make sure I don't forget to change it one way or the other when I'm changing games, otherwise it's gonna really suck. Victory! So I did remember to not. Or I did remember to turn it off, so I'm good on this recording. Man, we're just shredding through this stuff. I thought it was gonna be kinda hard over here. I didn't like level up or anything. Or I should say farm well, grind. I didn't grind levels or anything, I've just been playing through the game. Oh well, I shouldn't talk all awesome about it because I'm sure things will get harder sooner than later. Let's 
So we're going to some flower garden, but ultimately what we're doing is we're trying to get back to Lisa's kingdom. Where we're gonna find the Spirit of Wind somewhere. And that means a new mana stone, that means new magic. Also, if I remember correctly, it's level 18 that you get to do your first class change. And we're getting... Not really close to 18, but, you know, not too far away. Oh, that really didn't feel too good. <laughs> Slow brain needs sleep. Alright, where are we going? There's a bridge! Let's see what's on the other side of the bridge. Music awesome! I could just queue up it and get music on my media player and just listen to it all day. Yeah, this actually looks like a flower garden to me. I think we might have gone the, the right way. Out. But I'm always trying to go the wrong way just to make sure I explore all the hidden areas before I go to the, to the main place. Yep. These flowers. Ugh. Must be opium. No, just kidding. But seriously. Uh, where is this? Miss Lise, you're awake! This is the hideout where we're planning to retake the castle. We also followed the two invaders who took Elliot, but they eluded us somehow. I see. It's okay though, you're alive. Miss Lise! When your friends are awake, please join us in the back room. Everyone awaits. Wow, this like hidden, uh. Hideout and the music, it really reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy 3. Not America, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. Uh, where you were like in this secret. I think it's when you got. Oh, God, what's his name? It starts with the C, like Cyan or something. After you expose them, once they won't affect you anymore. Something about sleeping powers. I was trying to talk and read at the same time, and that's not possible. Um, but yeah, where you get that guy? It reminds me of that. We must do our best to get Rolante back. The castle is just up the mountain from here. This is the weapon tree and armor we've collected. Ooh yay, I wonder if I get new gear. Although I just got new gear not too long ago. The world's strongest Amazon army has dwindled to what you see here. Speaking of other games, Rolante was supposed to be an unconquerable because of the high cliffs and strong winds. Now it's been conquered and we have to take it back. What shall we do? What would you guys rather see after I finish Secret of Mana 2 when that finally happens? I'm thinking Final Fantasy VI or Chrono Trigger. Any preference in those? Make sure you post it in the comments and let me know. I like both. I really do. I mean, I, I probably will just play one and then play the other, but if you prefer to see one before the other, let me know. We captured some Navari soldiers who were wandering around in the meadow. Are these really the people who defeated us? Navari is a region to the south, inhabited by a large band of thieves. Now they've taken over Rolante. What possessed them to do such a thing? Mm -hmm. They're all on crack. That's what the problem is. No, they're on PCP. Good thing this hideout hasn't been found yet. Yeah, that's if you didn't just jinx us. The 
sleepy flowers. Okay. I'm supposed to go meet everybody. I swear I went every doorway inside of that place. Oh god, I'm never gonna find it now. With my short term memory. Okay, I guess I didn't go anywhere. The meeting! Miss Lise, you're safe! <laughs> Calm down, take it easy. Oh, I'm alright. So, what's the plan? How are we going to get back to the castle? We obviously don't have enough troops for a direct assault. I'm sorry, I'm not a military tactician. I never thought I'd be doing this. Oh wait, I know. We could ask the sage. Don Perignon. Don who? He know what to do. He's a brilliant strategist. I'm reading like a robot. I can't read more than two words at a time. His advice led Prince Richard to victory against the Dragon Emperor. Where does he live? That's the tricky part. He's a Korobakal. He lives in the Korobakal Forest. His village is west of the Red Light Forest, south of Jod. Well, let's go find him. Actually, it's a bit more complicated than that, I'm afraid. Korobakals don't like humans. I'm not sure if he would even talk to you. So what should we do? Well, you'll have to disguise yourselves as Coral Bottles. That's the only way. You can do that if you have the legendary Chibiko Chibi Hammer. I think someone in Bizel owns it. Well, that's a lot of information, especially when I'm asleep. So I have to go to like that one place, but go to the other place first. Uh, So, I pretty much, uh, get the gist here. By sells the merchant place, and that's where the black market is, so I can almost guarantee you that someone in the black market has that hammer. And, once I have the hammer in my possession, then I have to go where that was, south of Jod, and, um, talk to Mr. Koro Bakul. Ah! Stop running the wrong way. Person doing it. This way. Oh. This guy's about to run the long way. Maybe I get a shortcut. Maybe you grab like a little feather and just float down the mountain. That's another game I can't remember what. <laughs> or maybe you just get shot out of a cannon. <laughs> hey, that looks like Bon Voyage's cannon. Oh, you know him? I'm his cousin, Marisi. We need to get to Bizel. May we use your cannon? Sure, no problem. Are you ready? Yes, 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 yes. I don't have to walk. That's awesome. French Amazonas. I wonder how that would be. Oh my god, we landed on that kid! Well, I know the black market is open only at the night time. Let's take a nap! The black markets. All right, who do we gotta beat up for this hammer? Let's talk to the bartender. 
Welcome to the black market. You'll find things here you won't find anywhere else. Yeah. I'm sorry I won't do it again. That was the slave trader. Welcome, what would you like? I wanted to do this once, but I never imagined I'd be doing this boring... Oh, it'd be this boring. I'd rather just go home and sit. Here, you can have one of my dead grandpa's things. <laughs> okay. Well, that was easy. Can't carry anymore. What? <laughs> I was saying what, but he's saying what too. You can't carry any. I'm gonna go home and sleep. Hurry up and drop some things. <laughs> How about my pants? <laughs> well, uh, I have a storage. What do you mean I can't carry anything, you bastards? How do I even get to my storage? There's dart in your face. How about that? There. There. Now exit out of the storage. So I can take his red damp. De blah blah blah! His dead grandpa's things. That was gonna be like a 1960s, like, uh. retro Playboy or something. Retro is not the word I was looking for. I don't know, what's the word I was looking for? Well, anyways, that getting the hammer thing was much easier than I thought it would be. I thought we'd have to, like, fight for it or steal it or something, but, uh, I just got it from a sleepy kid. Uh, now, more conveniently, one boat right away from Jod. Jod. Yeah, uh, Jod. 90, I think you raised your rates, dude. You know that I can't get there, and now you're gonna be all like, Capitalism rules! I'm gonna take all your money! And cruise away! We are back in the castle city of Jod. It's probably been 15 minutes since time to end the episode, but I really hate to do that when we really haven't done anything. Well, I guess we talk to people. So I'm gonna keep going a little bit longer. We'll make this an extended episode. Beat up mushrooms! And rabbits. Nothing wrong with killing little forest creatures. So he said south and some forest, I think it was. So I'm going south. No, don't sleep me. Come on guys, do something. I'll, I'm almost scared to open it. Hey, I'll use Kevin because he's gonna be like the ass kicker right now since it's nighttime. Oh yeah, look at that. You found a dead end. Congratulations. I have no idea where I'm going. Going, going. Oh, there was a sign. I saw the sign. And it says... Storia. 
That doesn't really help me. Fuzzy robots are sleeping. <laughs> Whoa, rebellions. That's interesting. It's a rabbit rebellion! <laughs> These are new, because they would have kicked my butt if I was here at a lower level. I'm pretty sure it said Southwest, so I, I do believe I'm going the right way here. Rabbite Forest, yes, we're supposed to go through the Rabbite Forest. We'll be okay, as long as we don't run into that little rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That'd be bad news. We are Chippy Code. Little dude ran away. I gotta go a little bit further. Or not, I just totally screwed it up. The dude ran away, so um, uh, we gotta reset it. Did this work off? When I change screens, I'm pretty sure. So no, it didn't. Little dude, are you back? Right? Oh, you, you. Aha! Interacted with it. And the path appeared. That was so lucky of me just to do that. Coral buckle forest. Haven't seen you around here. We from other village. Hmm, you smell like humans to me. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. Right, whatever you say. Um, Don Perrington. Where, where is he? Don't know. Why don't you go look for him yourself? Sure, we will. Miniature guy from Harry Potter but, that I can't remember his name because I'm so sleepy. Headmaster. Headmaster something. Dumbledore. That's right. That's right. Oh my god, I'm tired. I don't want to play hide and seek. Don Perdon, he's not here. The little tree houses. I didn't realize that before. Now we have all of them to go into. Don Perdon, he's not here. Oh god. Oh god, we gotta find the practical Joker, don't we? He's gonna be all like, hey, 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 you can't find me, I'm hiding. I was in the first place. I, I bet you it's gonna be like the guy I already talked to. It's gonna be the old man, Dumbledore. He's gonna be like, "Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? I didn't tell you." I managed to look at every single tree in the village. Hey, <laughs> shrimp. Well, wow. shrimp sounds good, actually. Some sushi. Oh, sushi would be so good. Let's talk to the old man again. Almost. I mean, it's not that I remember that it's him. But I just have that feeling. Oh crap. Now I exited the screen. Maybe I resetted the guy. And he's gonna be like, oh my. Where the hell did he go? Come here, old man. I did look for him. It's you, isn't it? Ah. Me? 
maybe you should be useful and tell me where he is. We're the good guys. You're supposed to divulge information to us even though you've never met us before and you have no reason to talk to us. I know, he's not here. But where is he? Is what I want to know. Along with the winning lot of numbers, that'd be good. <sighs> hey, wasn't there someone outside? Yeah, the old man, I guarantee that's what you were gonna say. No good, no Don Beric, none anywhere. That's because I'm right here. I knew it! I'm gonna freaking sucker punch you as soon as you look the other way. What? I asked you where he was, and you didn't tell me. Ah, but I was walking around at the time, so I wasn't in any single place. Oh, that makes me mad. That's very nice. Something wrong? You seem a bit nervous. <laughs> well, we need your tactical advice. My home village, the Korobokal village in Rolante, has been taken over by mice. We need some sort of strategy for getting rid of them. That's a problem. Rolante, Rolante. Hmm, oh, I know. First, you need to find the wind spirit, Jin. Uh oh, long dialogue. In the middle of the Rolante Mountain Zone, there is a cave called the Corridor of Wind. When the wind god statue turns in a different direction, the wind will shift, and the way will open. The wind mana stone and Jin are somewhere at the end of the tunnel. Then we can go back to the garden with the sleep flowers. Use Jin's power to control the wind and spread the sleep pollen into Rolante Castle. That'll put the Navari Raiders to sleep. Retaking the castle should be a breeze, so to speak. How did you know about the castle and Navari? Ha <laughs> ha! Do you really think you can fool me? You're the ones that the fairy chose. I can sense this sort of thing. Besides, you smell like humans. And there's no Korobokal village in Rolante, okay? Normally, I wouldn't even bother with a pack of humans running through my village. But, if the fairy is here, that means the world is in danger. That affects us too. I'm sorry I tricked you, I just get a kick out of doing that. Haha, <laughs> good luck. Let me write this down real quick. After saving world, come back, kill Don Peregnon. Got it! And guess what else? We got to end this episode, guys. It has been long enough. It is time for me to go to bed! I'll try to record some more of you tomorrow if I can manage to stay awake this long. So thank you much, very much for watching and you know tuning in. I appreciate the subscriptions, the thumbs ups, the comments. Be sure to check out my friends' channels as well, and I'll see you guys next time.